Hi everyone, myself Harsha. Uh, I am Praga trainer at Harsha Trainings. In this video, I am going to explain about property optimization for page list properties and also in the back end how indexing will be done with a clear cut example I am going to explain about. After watching this video, you will have a clear idea about property optimization for page list properties. And before we proceed to the video, so we are going to start a new batch on Pega training starting from May 31st of this month and the timings will be morning 8 am to 9 am IST India timings. If you are any of one of your connections, if they are looking for Pega training, please reach out to us on the number that is displayed on this video. Before we proceed to watch the video, don't forget to subscribe our channel and if you have any questions or any doubts related to Pega on any topic or if you are attending interviews and you need answers for any of the uh, difficult questions or scenario based questions that you have faced during interviews, please post your questions or doubts in the comment sections of this video. So the properties will be there in the page list also, right? So let's understand the page list structure before we proceed forward to discuss about this. So I have a diagram which I will open and show you. Into the Pega, I'm sorry. Pega, Pega classes, diagrams, page list property. Where is it? Database. This one. Optimizing palish property. I'll open with uh, paint. So now I'm going to tell you about optimization of palish property. Imagine. Okay, not imagine. In our application, we have commercial vehicles page list, right? What is the structure of commercial vehicles? Commercial vehicles page list is referring to vehicle class. Commercial vehicles page list at runtime is going to have multiple vehicles. I'll show you once and then I will explain you. Look at here. Create a case i'll directly go to transaction details let it get loaded academy actions change stage to transaction details there i'll choose commercial vehicle i'll create two or three vehicles and show you commercial vehicle and then submit two to three vehicles i will add add one item win number win 0009 company chapande the company audi a11 ankunna manufacturing in 2009 add one more item win 0010 inka bench b11 2020 add one more item win 002 let's say skoda na skoda s11 2021 okay submit now let's see the clipboard structure for this it should have been stored into work table in pjpv stream column so let's go to the clipboard in the work table inside work table inside work table okay there is a page list called commercial vehicles in the commercial vehicles multiple pages are there so each page has properties so win property is there on all pages right how many values are there for the win for this work object for this particular work object how many win values are there three win values are there three companies are there three models are there three make years are there okay like this one property only multiple values but overall it is a structure in the blob is page list now Similarly, if I create one more work object, there I have 10 vehicles. There I have 10 vehicles. So how many values will be there for win? 10 values. Now, if I go to report definition rule, it is not possible to write the logic to retrieve the data like PX results of 1 or 2 or 3, commercial vehicles of 1, 2, 3. It is not possible. What is the reason it is not possible? You don't know how many px results will be there for one work of it maybe two for another work of it maybe 10 for some other work of it maybe zeros for some other work of it maybe one it may be 15. So how many P px results of one two three you will write in the select class and where class it is not possible 
and one more thing is imagine so if you want to optimize the properties in page list you do not optimize entire page list you have to optimize one by one like this i'll show you where is it data model not here i think data model property commercial vehicles right commercial vehicles in that i have win number right click on this optimize for reporting right click on this all the properties you have to all are some of the properties whatever you need you have to optimize one by one there is no way you right click on page list and optimize everything that is not at all possible now one by one only you are optimizing imagine i have optimized the page list property one of the property in the page list win number is it possible that suppose as per the optimization logic which we have discussed previously it is going to alter the table to create a new column imagine the same way how it has done previously it is adding a new column called win how many values it has to hold for work covered one imagine there are three vehicles consider there are three vehicles for work covered one how many it has to hold three win numbers are there is it possible to hold three win numbers in a single cell in database is it possible to hold two win numbers for work covered two given two vehicles are there two win numbers possible to hold so even optimization the logic of creating a new column in the table same table it will work only for single value property it will not work for page list related properties because there will be a number of values so for this pega comes up with a new design so that is when we optimize the properties in a page list prpc instead of creating a new column in the table it creates a new table separately it will create a new table separately and in this table it will add the property name, column name with same property name imagine my page list has five properties i have optimized only one property how many columns will be there in the newly created table only one column will be there that is optimized suppose imagine i have optimized two out of five properties two then this table will have two columns related to only optimized properties what is the relation between these two tables work table some of the properties i am optimizing it is creating separate table there should be a relation right for this particular work object what are the optim what is the optimized data if i want to know the pz ins key actually i have written pyid here for uh, not writing entire big number big uh, value so the pz ins key column in work table same value will also be there in the uh, this particular optimized table the value will be there suppose for for this particular one how many rows will be there here given three 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 vehicles are there for work object how many rows will be there here three rows it lad for work object two two vehicles are there how many rows it lad two rows it is going to add like this it is going to add and respect to columns will be there and now the newly created optimized table if you see the for work object one three pages are there in the commercial vehicle how many records are inserted how many records inserted how many three records win number holding value 1 value 2 value 3 all of all of them are for work object one only for work object two two vehicles are there how many records will get inserted two so each record in this optimized table corresponds to means is equal to one index page of page list correct or not each record in this optimized table is equal to one page in the page list of a respect to object yes or no so that is the reason why it is called as index table that is the reason each row here is corresponds to one indexed page of the page list that's why it is called as index table see if a table is created in order to access the table in the front end of prpc we need a class or not so when we optimize the page list properties process commander creates an index table and it creates an index class and columns of this table will be properties of that class and index table will be created index class will get created properties will get created and index class gets created will be deriving direct inheritance from index dash ootb class index dash ootb class so far we know work classes inherit inherits from work dash data classes inherits from data dash similarly integration classes inherits from int dash similarly index classes inherits from index dash so when we optimize page list properties 
process commander creates an optimized table which is called as index table index class columns and the data that is present in the block will be exported into index table means now the commercial vehicles page list will be there both in pager pv stream and index table if i want to retrieve the data of page list into report definition role i must have to optimize the properties to create an index table and retrieve the data from index table into the report understand everyone clear so this is the concept of indexing uh, like optimizing page list properties everyone clear and apart from creating table and apart from what is that creating class and properties process commander is going to create one more rule it is going to create one more rule i will show you that rule after we practically create it that rule type is called as index declare index rule that rule type is called as declare index rule you already aware of declarative index processing right what is the declarative processing how it is different from other rules how declarative rules are different from other rules it will automatically automatically call it is going to don't need to call how it will get automatically called some of the declarative rules based on properties and some of the declarative rules based on table right like trigger and all same way this is also table i'll tell you about declare trig declare index rule that gets created and its purpose so far everyone clear so now i have one question in my mind the question is see in the back end there are so many index tables i'll show you how many index tables are there n number of index tables are there each index table may be corresponds to some page list or page group whatever it is okay now see whenever we wanted to okay now i'll explain you one more point see after you optimize table will get created and already the data which is present in blob will be added into index table correct one more thing will will be will uh, i have to explain that is optimization is completed after optimization is completed if i create new work objects further optimization is done optimized table is created and original table is there work table is there blob column after optimization is done i am creating more work objects making transactions creating commercial vehicles now once i submit the commercial vehicle data page list data page list will get stored into blob column and also it will get stored into index table how many places it is getting stored two places blob as well as index table that will be done automatically you need, you need not to tell the process commander uh, that it has to store into both see so far optimization is not done so many work objects created and already there in the work table now i have done optimization once i have done optimization what will happen optimized table index table will get created all the data in blob for commercial vehicles will be added into newly optimized table what about future in future i am going to create more work objects right commercial vehicles commercial vehicles will get stored into work table the moment it stores into work table same action will also be done on reflect on index table means this data will also store in index table now there are so many index tables in the back end now the big question is that out of all these index tables how does process commander identifies the exact index table where to store the data you understand the question imagine i have two page lists page list 1 page list 2 both i have optimized the properties in both of the page list i have optimized how many index tables will get created two index tables index table 1 index table 2 now i have made a transaction in the as part of transaction these two page lists i have assigned data and submitted both page list data is been stored into work table in blob the same data has also been stored into index tables page list 1 stored into index table 1 page list 2 data stored into index table 2 that is okay but where is the knowledge to process commander where is that intelligence like how does process commander knows page list 1 data to be stored into index table 1 page list 2 data to be stored into index table 2 page list 3 data to be stored into index table 3 how does it knows there are so many index tables how does it identifies the respective index table related to the page list you understand the question for that reason we need to know about the concept of 
declare index rule i will show you the index rule 